guys and welcome to another vlogtober now i am coming to you from the future this is actually the last day of this vlog that i'm filming this on but i didn't do much for the work week of this vlog so i think like the 11th to the 14th which is why i'm going to just do a little montage of what i did those days first and then we'll get into like the weekend part of this vlog so you guys can see but I just want to intro and just say that first if you're wondering why it's not going to be much content from those days. I did film a lot on those days but just pretty boring because once again it's very hard to film during the work week. So I will see you guys a little bit later and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. I mean, right now, the time is 9.26. I actually got up around like 8.30 and I was just laying in bed doing nothing. But I'm still happy. I made it up before 10. But I'm going to start cleaning first. I know I should probably eat something and all that. But I think I could do this pretty quick in a decent amount of time. So I'm going to start cleaning up my apartment. I'm not going to do like the whole deep clean yet probably save that for like after but at least just get rid of everything and put them where they belong and then I am going to actually make some coffee but I'm going to try and do some iced coffee kind of like an iced latte if I know how to make that <laughs> but I wanted to make the Starbucks pumpkin cold foam because I get that every day and I have all the ingredients so I want to see if I can do it and if it tastes just as good so then maybe I could save some money because I've been spending quite a lot almost every single day buying a pumpkin spice latte and I need to stop. But let's get a cleaning first and then I will do the whole recipe and, and get a little fall vibe in there. So let's go. I just finished getting rid of everything that I needed to put away and whatnot and now I'm going to make some coffee because like I said 
I am craving my pumpkin spice lattes. Even though Starbucks is right around the corner, I do not feel like going outside. So, we're going to do an at-home pumpkin spice latte with regular coffee, but I'm going to be trying to make the Starbucks pumpkin cold brew, and we're going to see how it turns out. So I will definitely leave the recipe down below, but I'm just going to do a little film thing without talking, but I'll put everything on the screen as I'm doing it, and we will taste test it together to see how it turns out. So let's get to cooking or mixing, I don't know. Okay guys, so these are all the ingredients that you need for this, or at least for the recipe that I found online. You need some heavy whipping cream, um, also some pumpkin puree, vanilla extract, but all I have is vanilla flavor because they sold out of the vanilla extract at my store, some sweetened condensed milk, and it also called for pumpkin spice like seasoning, but I only have ground cinnamon, so I'm gonna use that instead which is fine because I normally put cinnamon in my pumpkin spice lattes anyways when I go to Starbucks so let's get to making this bad boy and if you don't want me there's something wrong with them right maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone have I lost my perception feel like I want to do something wrong now packing all your belongings you wanna take some time But if you say we'll meet again Why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you lying? Have you met someone? Tell me now I better start crying Make them feel bad before we leave town Ten, nine, counting down Putting on a smile Eight, seven, six, five It looks really yummy. Honestly, the cold foam didn't taste too bad. It definitely tastes pumpkin-y. Sorry, I need to take my hair out of this because right now it's not working. But I am very excited. I feel like the coffee might be a little bitter, but hopefully with this added foam, it tastes a little 
better. I'm just mixing it up because, you know, it could be very milky. I don't really like my stuff dark. I'm gonna try it first with the straw because I know you're not really gonna taste it with the straw. And then I'm just gonna sip it like how you would get the little sippy tops from Starbucks. But let's see. Okay, I think in that taste, I just taste the coffee, which is a little bitter. I might add a little bit more of my creamer, but let me just check first if I sip from the top, if it makes it taste a little better, because you know you're gonna get that cold foam first and then the rest. It's not too bad. Now, I feel like because I am a sugar freak, I would have added a little bit more condensed milk to make it a little sweeter and a little bit more of the pumpkin puree because I can smell it, so it smells very fall-like, but I feel like the flavor needs to be a little bit more stronger for it to be that perfect, you know, pumpkin spice latte feel. But overall, I think the consistency is very good. It's very whipped, of course. I would just say add more pumpkin. Um, if you don't like pumpkin, you can leave out the pumpkin and just make the regular, their original like cold foam that they have. But I would say definitely try it if you want to, if you're into the whole pumpkin spice latte feel. But I'm gonna add a little bit more creamer to this, make it a little bit more sweet. I know I am that type of person when it comes to coffee. I like my coffee light and sweet. Actually, I got in better with like the lightness. I can go a little bit darker, but it still has to be a little sweet. Not too much, I still like the taste of the coffee, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm gonna get back into cleaning and just chilling out and have a catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm a mess got here but I'm blessed Didn't know it'd take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you Everything is safe, 
guys, this is actually the next day and I didn't do an intro or tell you anything about what I was doing for the rest of the day. But I actually want to just put this in here so I can just intro it. But me and my boyfriend ended up going upstate New York to the Headless Horseman attractions, which is like a haunted walking hayride and haunted houses. So that was the exciting thing that we were doing. We were gonna go camping, but then we realized like the place that we go camping at was closed for the season. So we couldn't do that. So it just ended up being the haunted houses and stuff. So I'm gonna insert all that here and hopefully you guys enjoy. So it is the next day. I'm feeling really tired, but me and my boyfriend are about to go and venture out on our day. We're gonna go see Benham today. I don't know if it was good or not, but I think we're gonna go to Build a Bear also because that's part of our plan for our anniversary gifts if we have time to do it. And then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's to find some cool fall snacks. So let's get the day started. Build-A-Bear, which you guys might have seen. I don't really feel much because it's kind of awkward, <laughs> but would you like to show your bear? 
I won't play the message, but these are the ones that we got. I don't know what her name is in real life, but I know this is Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So this is for him. This is for me. We both left a personal message on the feet, which I will not play <laughs> right now, but yeah, she said medium, but this feels like firm. Anyways. We also went to see Venom. I will talk about that later because I only have a limited amount of time on this card. But we went to Trader Joe's as well, which was probably my second time in my life going to Trader Joe's. The first time I went was like five years ago. And I remember buying a bunch of stuff for a decent amount, probably like $20. And this time this came up to 40, which I don't think is too bad for what I got, but I'm gonna share with you guys. So I didn't get a lot of pumpkin stuff because it was just too crazy in there. I guess Saturday is not the day to go. But I saw these rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavor. I guess they're like a Takis sort of knockoff. Probably tastes like it, but we will see. Then I have this first item that I saw if you guys are watching. I think her name is Mel Beezy's Vlogtober. She saw this in the store. I don't know if she bought it, but when she showed it, they look pretty good. They're Peruvian potato chips. And they're like this a black and like, you know, regular potato chip color. And she also recommended what she did try is these shrimp seafood burgers. And they look really good. So can't wait to eat those. Probably won't eat them tonight since I have my HelloFresh stuff I can cook. But, um, or maybe I can make that tonight and then make the HelloFresh stuff tomorrow for my lunch. But with that, I got these classic hamburger buns. I do prefer potato rolls, but I don't think Trader Joe's has that. Unless they do, let me know. And then I got this hand-braided, is it challah <laughs> or challa? I don't know, bread, which I usually like to make it with like using it for french toast but i might just cut it up and like toast it with butter or something for breakfast and then i got these thai shrimp gyoza they also had a vegetable one and i think a pork one but i went with the shrimp i love any type of dumpling like that then i saw these potato pancakes which looked really good i could eat those for breakfast I also found some gluten-free plain bagels because I'm convinced that I can't tolerate gluten or I might have celiac disease because when I eat bread, it hurts my stomach. I also got these raviolis, which I also saw her get, which is the organic caprese ravioli. Is that how you say it? Caprese, I think. Um, with organic tomatoes and basil in a three cheese blend. I did forget to get a tomato sauce, so I'll have to pick that up near my job. But um, I also got some lobster raviolis, which I'm very excited about because I love lobster raviolis. I also got this banana bread with walnuts. It is a vegan. I might warm it up and like slice it up and put some butter on it. And then last but not least, I'm late on the bandwagon, but it's the... Trader Joe's Everything with the Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend. So you could definitely put this on like avocado toast if you want or a bagel with cream cheese, the bagels that I have. So I'm gonna try that. I don't have any cream cheese, so I need to pick that up as well. But all these stuff came up to under 40, I think. So I think it's worth it and I can't wait to try them all. And they look pretty yummy. But I also have a cinnamon bun. <laughs> which I want to eat, but I might wait until I watch the new Halloween movie tonight. Is it Halloween Kills? I don't know. Things on Peacock. If you don't like to go to the movies, check it out on there. This is not sponsored, but yeah, I'm going to go put all these stuff away and then I'll probably start editing some of my videos because I did film my apartment tour finally. 
So I'm gonna start editing that because my card has no space on it. So I need to get that edited so I can delete it off of my SD card. So yeah, I'm gonna go do this and I will catch up with you guys a little later. Hey guys, so today is a Vlogtober day 17. I had quite an early start today because I went to my boyfriend's softball game for the first time. I do not have a clue of what was going on. If you've seen my blog of me going to a Yankees game, I kind of understood. But I'm still lost at some points. Well, all I know is that they won. Spoiler alert. But I did film a bit, so I'm going to share that with you guys right now. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of did enjoy watching them. It's pretty interesting. It was very cold out, so I like it though, honestly, even though we were probably out there for about like three hours, I think. So it, was, it wasn't too bad. At least the sun was out, but I'm actually excited for this weather. But I did just eat some food. Um, I actually ate ramen, even though I'm making ramen tonight from my HelloFresh orders, which I will be sharing with you guys. And I just finished uploading my apartment tour video. So you might have seen that yesterday because it's going up on Monday, that went up yesterday on Sunday, which today is Sunday, but you know, I'm speaking to you guys from the past, which is also the future, I don't know. Anyways, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna tidy up a bit. I'm contemplating on taking a nap or going to sleep early tonight. I don't know, because I do have work tomorrow and I don't want to go to work. But I'm going to actually finish editing this vlog, because obviously I have to post it tomorrow. I'm gonna clean up a bit, cook my dinner, and then chill out and go to bed, if I have enough time. It's only 2.33 in the afternoon, so I should have more than enough time, but yeah, if I take a nap, I don't know, but I'm going to do all of that today and just have the rest of the Sunday to be more of a chillaxed one until another work week starts once again. <laughs> didn't go as planned I feel like this is too bright I guess that's okay um I've been editing all day my hair looks a mess I don't know what's going on don't mind that but I've literally been editing like all day I didn't even really clean up in here but it's already 6 34 and I thought I'd give myself a break I did just upload my apartment tour video so that's all up hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, and right now I'm currently editing the vlog 
but it's so much like footage and little not like I mean it is a lot of footage but it's just like so many details I have to do the video is like 40 minutes long so I'm trying to do all that so tomorrow when I get home I could just edit all the info on YouTube and then just upload it right away so it goes up tomorrow night if not it'll go up Tuesday so I'm sorry about that but I'm going to cook some dinner now because I have these hello fresh stuff and I can't let them go to waste so I was thinking of doing the ramen one but I'm kind of thinking if I should do the chili because the ramen says that it's gonna take about 45 minutes and the chili one said it's going to take about let's see 30 minutes which is not that far off and the other one I can't cut because I put the meat in the freezer and that's the chore shortest one so that's 25 minutes but I don't really feel for that I think I might go for you know what I had ramen today I'm gonna put the chicken in the freezer and I'm gonna make the black bean chili which is this one right here it's only a 10 minute prep time and 30 minutes to cook so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna bring you guys a long I don't know if I want to do a talking video because I think you can find their recipes and stuff on HelloFresh or you could just screenshot this and it'll show you everything you need and this is everything you need you might have to turn your head sideways if you want to screenshot that but I'm just gonna cook it and you guys are just gonna watch and we'll see how it goes. taste a little bit like off the spoon so hopefully it's good but I know it's gonna be probably really hot I'm just trying to grab everything with it all the toppings and let's see not too shabby not too shabby. That was really good. I think it's more so of like a chili versus a soup. But it's still delicious. It's definitely filling because of the beans and everything and all the vegetables in there. And it has just the right amount of spice. Like I love spicy food so I could do more spice than that. But if you're not someone that enjoys spice too much, this is good enough for you. And also I limit how much of the poblano pepper that I want to add into there because I just didn't feel like cutting it up and I had some bad things happen in the past with poblano peppers where I touched my eye and I'm kind of free to touch my eye. It started burning like crazy, but um, I just realized I forgot to add the lime, but I'm not really a fan of lime. Um, like in stuff like this, I like lime on its own and like in drinks, but not when it comes to food really. But I'm going to take this bowl and go watch some more Squid Game or YouTube as always. And I think I'm going to end this vlog here because it's a lot going on. So 
it's going to be a start of a new week tomorrow and you guys will see that in next week's video so hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.